Hello everybody, today we're here to do another review. Yes, it indeed. I am doing another review. It's been quite a while since I've been doing a review. This time I'm not going to do a Thomas review, I'm going to do something else. And today is a really nice review and I can't wait. This is Barkman's The Railway Children's Train Pack. I mean, oh my goodness, look at it! Look how gorgeous it is! Now, if none of you don't know what the very children is, why are you watching this? <laughs> I mean, this is quite a popular. It's quite a popular film. Um, it's on every Christmas time. So, and there's also like there's the DVD release. Uh, there's quite a lot of DVDs. There's the 1997 one, which is this is the one that's been based on, and actually this year is actually its 45th anniversary. There's also there was there's also another one. That is also celebrating its 50th anniversary, which is a, um, they also did, which, um, I'm not sure most people know about this, but they did a black and white version of the Rarely Children after Keith Lee Worth Valley in 1965, I think, yeah, 1965, with, um, some, with, actually, with one of the actors I know of, Jenny Agatha, who is a star in this one as the old children, as the oldest children, she still contains... In 1996, she also starred in that one, um, in, as the same act, as the same, uh, character she was playing as. Uh, they also did a 2000 one, which I don't think looks too bad, but the 1997 one is the one you should get. It's definitely the one. Um, and, of course, it was filmed on the Keithley Worth Valley Railway. Um, sadly, I haven't gone to that railway, but I'll probably go there one time. But I can say I've seen quite a lot of it. I've seen videos of people putting on there, and it's gorgeous. Um, so let's have a have a good look at it. Um, uh, I really like the detail on top. There's we have a very nice design. I really like this design. I wish um, Bachman makes this more often because they make it just look so good. Okay, let's go inside and see what it looks like. And inside, it looks really detailed. I mean, whoa. It actually looks really nice. Um, it's nice to have this nice patterning of the uh, clips of the railroad children. I mean, we have like the uh, the actual locomotive that pulls the um, gentleman's train, which I do know is at Sh the National Railway Museum at Sherryham, I think. Um, I think um, which they have painted it in the colours for the 40th anniversary. I don't know if it's going to stay with that colour for it, I don't know, but if they stay in that colour for about like 5 or 6 years, that will be good, because in 5 years time it will be the 50th anniversary of the very children, and it would be a good idea to keep it in that colour, and I'm not sure if it's been overhauled yet, so if it is been overhauled, that will be perfect, so that means it's all waiting ready for, to, ready for it to go out, if it's not overhauled, they better do it pretty quickly I think because it's about five five years from 2015 it will be the 50th anniversary uh, we also got another locomotive on the other side which is uh, if anybody watched the film first this is the first train that comes into mind in the film uh, where most people were probably associated with it, people who just watched the series and know nothing about trains they'll just call it a, tr a, queen, a green train um, known as, but it's known as now known as the Green Dragon. And if anybody doesn't know what the Green Dragon is, the Green Dragon is probably an express train that goes from London to another place. I just don't know where. I just don't know where. But yeah, that locomotive is still there at the Keithley Worth Valley Road. But I think it's in um, it's locked in somewhere. I I can't remember where it was. It's just shut. It's kind of just shut in there for now, so oh well, that's bad bad luck. That's well, it's not really bad luck. It's a bit of a disappointment, but I hope it will be out for the 50th anniversary of the Rail Children because that will be a good time to see it. I mean, that'll be a perfect to have it out for the 50th anniversary. Uh, we also got the children, so we have Jenny Agatha, the oldest one who plays as uh, Roberta or Bobby. Um, the person who plays Phyllis, I, I can't remember her name, but I do remember they did a video one time when she was much older and she came back to uh, the railway. 
and it, it hasn't pretty much changed. Um, pretty much. Um, I know, but it was quite nice the video as well. Uh, so those are the actors who play as the children. I think they are still around. I think Jenny Agatha has been played in many other things, such as uh, she's also been in Heartbeat. That as far as I and that as far as I know of, she has played in. I don't know what else she has been played in the role. Okay, let's have a look inside. What what you get? You get the lovely locomotive that pulls the gentleman's train. So you get. It's really nice, it's beautiful and lovely detail as well. Um, you get two coaches. Um, they decided, I think they chose these two coaches because they were close enough to the actual um, one because they do actually look quite nice. And then you get with um, Station Oakwood. Now, there is a problem here. Now, there is a big, big problem with this set. Now, before I want to say this, I, I think most people review this, when Hornby makes a mistake, because, you know, Hornby and Batman are sort of like, they're like rivals, but I found out, um, I found out that um, Hornby and Batman are built in the same factory, but they're on opposite sides of the factory. So when Hornby makes a mistake, everyone knows it, knows to fight it. When Batman makes a mistake, nobody really bothers. That's not fair, okay? You know, you have to be fair on each other. And I'll go through the things that have gone wrong with the set. One, uh, I don't mind having an Oakwood station because I think most people would like to have the station very nice. One of them is that one of the coaches is too long. And um, the other problem they have, they forgot the gentleman's coach. Um, I can show you a model of uh, one. I have one which is made from Tryon, um, which does look nice. It is a bit battered at um, the window edge, but I'm I'm gonna kind of repair it a bit. But that is actually close enough to the one that was seen in the Rary Children. Close enough because it's got the window and it's got a window on the side. That is really close enough. Bartman made a mistake by having not having the gentleman's coach and. Without the gentleman's coach, the train is incomplete. Obviously, it's incomplete, but um, I think they were having troubles probably making one of them because it's not, e you know, it's not easy making them. And I think it would cost a, quite a lot to make quite loads of them. So they thought, like, the same money, they decided to say, like, let's just make a building because I think most people want a building. Oh, well, but oh, well. Um... So they forgot about the gentleman's coach. Uh, as I said, uh, one of the reasons was that the, one of the coaches is too long. Is you, if anybody has watched the film, they know straight away one of the coaches is too long because you have sort of like one long one and one short one, which I think the long one is sort of like a third class coach for people who travel in first class. Third class, and then they have sort of like a small car for maybe like I think it's for like second or pass or car, I don't know, and then the last one is the gentleman's coach, which I think it's the first class coach, and, you know, he sits in there on his own, you know, reading his new paper as he's going on, and waving at the children very nicely, so yeah, that's quite a disappointment that they haven't got the gentleman's coach, and one of them is quite long, uh, but it's really nice, so I wouldn't say don't bother, get it, do get it if you can, because um, I think it's quite popular, and it's worth getting in it, because I think uh, when they're gone, it's gone, you know. Uh, there are some nice details on the locomotive. It comes with some accessories, such as they have these little black things along the side of the ends, where you can cover the ends and say, like, that's the sort of like the end of the train. I know heritage sort of have those, so you don't see the door end of that. That's that's a that's that's a quite nice feature they have, and they have nice detail for the two features on the locomotive. Um, overall, it looks quite nice. Now, let's give the locomotive a test run and see how well it forms. Um, it runs so very well, it, it does run very nicely, and it runs at a good speed. Uh, obviously, when it's at full max, it, it goes at the speed it should go, you know. You don't really want to see this rocking around the track, because the locomotive it was base is a great what is the locomotive that was used for the gentleman's train was actually a great western locomotive and they were mainly used for i guess for station pilots coal sh 
shunters. Uh, some of them were sold to the London Transport, and some of them were passenger trains. So they weren't really built for breaking record of mind, but they are at a speed. I mean, they're at a good speed that I'm running on my loud. And with the coaches added into this, and I'm at, I'm also adding the one that I mentioned in the in the video, that one. That looks quite nice. It looks like the actual train a bit. I know, you know, saying one of them is too long, and maybe the one I have, the Tryon, isn't a bit not close enough as close, but it is close enough, I would say. Overall, I would give this layout uh, a 4 out of 5. It is very nice detailed. The engines drive really well. It's great to collect. And also, um, it's a very treasure thing. When I say very treasure thing, there's only a few of them they made, I think. The only problem with it is there is one of the coaches too long and they're missing the gentleman's train. But apart from that, it's a brilliant set. I would highly recommend it if you can. And it is quite expensive. Yeah, I do mean it is kind of expensive, but it will be worth it to get it. So I hope you thank you very much for my review. Um, if you haven't seen The Married Children, I highly recommend seeing The Married Children. It is very, very nice to watch. And see you again soon, maybe for another review or something else on my channel. So see you then. Cheerio!